Uh, okay, do you have any sort of file in front of you regarding my driver's license number? Anything at all? We have, we have your license record. Okay, well, I, I don't know if, that, if, that, if that's going to help. Anyway, here is my issue. I am in Ithaca, New York. My driver's license expires on Sunday, September 22nd. It is Wednesday, September 18th. Over a month ago, I filled out all of these forms. I got, I don't know, 16 pages of documents and did all of this, this big package that that you guys sent me to fill out you know social security everything uh passport pictures the the fee everything and that was uh all sent to you about a month ago i have never received a single word from you i have been waiting up here in upstate new york for Right about, I'm, fortunately, I don't have the exact date that I sent. It was right, it was a, at least a month ago. And so there's going to be three more mail de deliveries, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, for me to receive my driver's license. And then I am screwed, and, and I have got to have a driver's license when I wake up Monday morning or my life is not going to be pleasant Monday morning if I wake up without a driver's license. I need you to find out where my driver's license is in the process and when can I expect to receive it in New York. Well, they received your paperwork August 28th, and from that point, you're looking about six to eight weeks for them to get it processed. Six to eight weeks? Yes, sir. Uh, all right, my, my, my first question, okay, you and okay, let, let's take the good news first. You received my application. I have not received, see, this is the first word that, that I've even heard that you've received the applications. All right, so I have received nothing that anything is missing, so I'm going to say that is good news, that I sent you everything I needed. Is that correct? That we don't. What's that? Once they process paperwork, if they're missing anything, at that point they'll notify you of anything they still need. Okay, I feel like it was quite a bit earlier than August 28th that you should have received that, but if that's when it officially hit the thing. Now, I was told way back when, and, and, and I could find the day that you sent me all of this package, the, the person I was talking to on the phone when I was talking to her about this very subject, she was telling me, four to six weeks and I said D-Day is September 22nd and she was telling me when I was talking to her it should happen for you and oh, obviously she couldn't promise but uh, she seemed fairly optimistic uh, that I would have my license by September 22nd, but you do not see, <laughs> I do not hear this optimism in your voice that I'm going to receive this, uh, my license in the next three mail deliveries. I can tell you with 100% certainty that's not possible. Okay, we have a 100%. She gave you inaccurate information. What's that? She gave you an accurate time frame for that to be done. If she told me four to six weeks, weeks she would... Them. Yeah, all right. It takes six to eight weeks just for them to get to the paperwork and review it. From the time they process it, at that point, it takes another two to three weeks for the actual hard copy to come. So I am hearing uh, that it could be <laughs> weeks more before I have a driver's license. Okay, th this job I have in New York runs out on October 9th, and then 
I need to get in my truck and drive back home to Austin, Texas, which I don't know. Let, let's give myself, I will probably be back in Austin, let's call it October 20th to October 25th. And it sounds to me like what I'm hearing, uh, not only am I not going to have my driver's license by September 22nd, that is, that's clear. I'm not even hearing any assurance from you that I'm going to have my driver's license by October 9th b before I'm ready to leave New York and drive across Pennsylvania, Ohio, Kentucky, Arkansas, and Texas. So do you think I'm even going to receive this thing by October the 9th? You know, if they processed it now, that wouldn't really be feasible. That would not be feasible, you said? No, sir, because I'm expecting it's going to be well after that before they even review the paperwork. Okay, so my question to you is what would you do if you were in my position? Unfortunately, short of actually appearing in person in a Texas office, by tomorrow at 5, you'd have to be driving on an expired license, which could result in a citation for that reason. Okay. What can I do to keep that from happening? I, I mean, hopefully, obviously, I hope that I'm not going to be pulled over for any reason. Uh, I haven't been pulled over by a police officer in a year and eight months, and I hope my, uh, <laughs> I hope my stellar record continues, although I'm going to be putting probably 12,000 miles on this truck in several different states, uh, you know, most of which I'll be driving around with out-of-state plates. And is there anything that you can send any sort of communication that you can email me that uh, I explaining that I am stuck in some sort of bureaucratic uh, whatever and that uh, I have that the current license I have I have no tickets against that I have a clean driving record, blah, blah, blah. Is there anything that you can do for me uh, between now and the time I get back to Texas to give a police officer if he were to pull me over? Fortunately, sir, there would not be anything we can issue. You can still process your renewal up to two years past the expiration date, but... Unfortunately, because you did your last renewal online, the only options here is waiting for that estate packet to process or appearing in person in a driver's license office to do the transaction. And if you come to the office, you're going to need to see both birth certificate and social security card to process a transaction. Well, I'm 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 not gonna I, I'm not gonna be back to I, I'm not hopping in my truck tomorrow and racing back to get to Texas uh, by uh, so I can come down there Monday morning. That's not going to happen. I, uh, I am not going to be in the state of Texas on Monday morning. That, that is certainly not going to happen. The earliest I'm going to be back in the state of Texas would be October 15th and probably closer to October 20th. So I am going to be Right between three to four weeks driving around with an expired license before I before I can be at a at the office in Austin, Texas. So I am just I, am I just SOL? Unfortunately, there wouldn't be any possibility to get this renewal done other than either waiting for that packet to get processed and a new license sent out or appearing in an office. Yeah, in Texas. There, yeah. there, there is absolutely no sort of reciprocity with, uh, with the state of New York or anything like that. 
Uh, I mean, I, I'm almost, uh, you, you, you know, I'm at the point of on, on Friday, uh, well, hell, I might as well make it today, but uh, of, of going down to a, a New York DMV and, and, and throwing my cell phone them and see if they can uh, give me some sort of temporary license. But you and I both know what they're going to tell me is, Sorry, sir, you don't live in New York. You live, you live in Texas. I have nothing to show them that I live in New York because they don't live in New York. So, there, is there any... I don't care what it is at this point, brother. Is there, is there anything that you can email me just to explain to A, a cop, or, or B, a, some small-town judge in, uh, in Kentucky that uh, th that I am doing everything I can to resolve this issue with the state of Texas. Is there any, uh, the weakest thing you can do to help me that you can email me that I can print out and carry around in my driver's license with me, in my glove compartment with me? There is nothing I can issue you, sir. So I am just flat out SOL on my own until I get back to the state of Texas and get a copy of that driver's license in person in, in a DMV office in Austin. Is that, is that what you're telling me? There's, there's just nothing more to be said about it. I need to appear in person in, in Austin when I get back to Texas. You can appear in any driver's license office in the state of Texas. Well, I'll, I live in Austin. It'll be in Austin. Uh, <laughs> but there, there's absolutely nothing uh, that you can suggest to me as long as I'm not uh, in, in, in the state of Texas. No, sir. Your only two options here are either appearing in person in the driver's license office or waiting for the out-of-state packet to get processed. Well, I'm obviously, uh, <laughs> uh, well, obviously I, I have no choice but to, to, to hope that thing is, is here by the time I leave on October 9th, although you don't sound very optimistic of even that happening. Uh, but we're, we're obviously, that, that is the, the tack I'm going to take. Uh, I, I just hope I don't get pulled over uh, by a cop. All right. Is there anybody else that I can talk to at, uh, in the state of Texas to plead my case to do to do something to send me something uh, that this is I cannot being... issue anything that gives you the right to drive beyond the expiration date. <clears throat> So you don't have any sort of supervisor or anybody that I, that I can talk to to uh, to try to get something uh, to to cover my rear between now and the time I get back to Texas. I understand what you're asking for, sir, yeah. and I'm explaining that that's not possible. So there there's nobody nobody above you that's going to tell me anything different. Writing is your driving. We're not going to issue anything stating you have permission to be driving beyond the expiration date. We cannot issue anything yeah. to that effect. We cannot issue anything stating that we're processing your paperwork. There are no statements that we can say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you, can you, is there any way to, to email me just a statement that as of right now, September 18th, I have a clean driving record. Is that something you can email me? No, sir. You can order your driving record on the DPS website and print it out, and it'll show oh, okay. at that time that your license is valid and that it expires on September 22nd. And, and, and it shows that it's a clean driving record? It'll show whatever level of driving record you pay to order, ranging from no information up to the full history of your license. Oh, okay, so I can go online 
uh, let's say on Friday, September 20th, and uh, order online uh, a, a full driving record. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Well, I guess that's the very best I'm going to do. Uh, this was obviously, uh, what, this is exactly what I expected to hear, but I was hoping for a miracle. So if you have no other ideas for me other than doing that, I guess we have nothing else to talk about. So I'm sorry, if there was another option, I'd happily give it to you. No. All right, brother, thank you. So that is that. I am fucked.